After major keys, minor keys are the most popular choice for songwriters. The sound of the minor key is often described as brooding, sad or melancholy. Listen to how it sounds here with the A minor scale, which has the notes A, B, C, D, E, F and G. The scale you just heard is actually called the natural minor scale. You may also see it labelled as the aeolian mode or the sixth mode of the major scale. When someone mentions the minor scale or key, they are almost always referring to the natural minor. It is actually one of three minor scales, the other two being harmonic minor and melodic minor. The numbers you saw under the scale are referred to as scale degrees. They provide a point of comparison with the major scale, also known as the Ionian mode. The third note of a scale is important as it will reveal the quality of the scale. Third will have a major sound and flat or minor third a minor sound. Another minor sounding mode is the Dorian mode. If you compare it to the Aeolian mode, you'll see that the only point of difference is the natural slash minor sixth note. So two notes you really want to focus on in minor melodies are the flat three and the flat six. In the key of A minor, these are the notes C and F. Here's a very simple melody that highlights these notes. You want to focus on these notes to bring out the minor flavour, but what else can you do to achieve this? If you play notes on a strong beat, then they are felt more and stand out. In a 4-4 time signature, with 4 beats in the bar, this would be beats 1 and 3, with the first beat being the strongest. Listen to the following example. In bars 1 and 2, the flat 3 and flat 6 notes, C and F, are on weak beats. In the second half, they fall on strong beats 1 and 3. I want to give you a few basic melody tips now. These aren't exclusive to the minor key, but can help you to think about melodies generally. The main tip would be to keep it simple. In most styles of music, vocal melodies are repetitive, simple, and cover a limited range. Don't overcomplicate your melodies, and you won't go far wrong. For example, look at this basic melody in A minor. When creating melodies, it is important to consider the shape of the pattern. Melodies can move downwards or upwards, in small steps or big leaps. This can take you into different octaves. You may have spotted in the previous example that it dipped into a lower octave. Balancing the movement or shape of the melody is another important part of creating and maintaining interest. Look out for the leaps and steps into different octaves in the next minor example. I said that placing a note on strong beats can make it stand out. Another thing that can highlight a particular note is making it the highest note in a phrase. This could be used to highlight a key note in your minor melody, or if you have lyrics, it could be to showcase an important word. In this next example, I'll end each phrase with the flat three and flat six notes, C and F, that I highlighted as being key to the minor sound. Melodies don't live in isolation. They have a strong relationship with harmony, or in other words, chord progressions. Let's now look at how this relationship works. A melody can be written from two broad approaches. You can write the melody first and then fit chords to the melody, or you can write the chords first and then the melody. The second approach is the most common, probably because it is easy to strum chords on a guitar or play them on a piano and then sing along. If you look at a lot of popular songs, you'll see how the chords directly influence the melody with the choice of notes. 
If you have an existing minor key chord progression, you can start with this and create a melody for it. You can of course use the tips and ideas already discussed, but now you have a few more things to consider. The easiest way to build a melody from chords is just to use chord notes. Each chord will be constructed with several notes, and whilst that chord is playing, you can use these notes to create a melody. For example, a popular minor key chord progression is 1, 5, 6, 7. In the key of A minor, these chords would be A minor, E minor, F major, and G major. A minor has the notes A, C, and E. E minor has the notes E, G, and B. F major is constructed with F, A, and C. And G major uses the notes G, B, and D. In the next example, I'll construct a melody using only these chord tones. A minor and E minor share the E note, so also listen out for how this sounds when it is held over the chord change. Now I'll use the same chord progression, but instead of chord notes, I'll use the other four notes from the A natural minor scale. This group of four notes will change as the chords change. The chord note melody feels really safe, and if you place these notes on the strong beats in a bar, it feels even safer. Notes from outside of the chord sound tenser and unsettled. The level of tension depends on several factors. If it's in the scale of the key, then it will have some tension, with different levels within this. And then if you want greater tension, you can reach out for chromatic or alien notes. Writing a melody is a balancing act, building up tension, and then resolving it by selecting these different notes. Something you may have seen in songs is the use of borrowed chords. This is where chords from a parallel key are used in the current key. If you want a full explanation, then watch the playlist linked at the end of this video. A parallel key has the same root or tonic note, so with the examples in the key of A minor, you could borrow from A major, A Dorian, A Mixolydian, etc. This introduces chromatic notes to the song that are outside of the existing key. These tense alien notes can be very noticeable in your melodies. But as discussed earlier, if you use chord notes, then they feel safer. Look at the following example with the chords 1, 7, 6, major 5. The major 5 chord can be borrowed from the parallel major, Lydian, and harmonic minor keys. There is a single chromatic note, G sharp. It is the only chromatic note used. It falls on beat 2 of the 4th bar, so is not prominent, and it features in the underlying borrowed chord. Have a listen to how something feels different with this chord and note, and yet it doesn't sound out of place. You saw at the beginning of the video that the major scale has three notes different to the minor scale, three, six, and seven. If you want to add a bit more tension and interest over your borrowed chord, then you can use all of these notes whilst the major 5 plays. You could do this with any borrowed chord, providing more of a glimpse into the parallel key. In the next example, I'll use the 1, 7, 6, major 5 progression again. I'll start by repeating the first phrase three times. This is a common technique in melodies. Although the notes stay the same, the relationship to the underlying chord notes change as you progress, creating a pleasing difference throughout. When the final borrowed chord arrives, I will use all three notes of difference highlighted earlier. Listen to how the notes not in the underlying chord sound more tense and out of place. These have been examples of modal mixture or modal interchange. These are just other terms for describing what I've done, mixing chords and notes from parallel modes and scales. Of course, you don't have to use the chromatic notes over the borrowed chord if you don't want to. In another video on the channel, I created the chords for a song in the key of A minor. You can watch that in the playlist at the end of this video. I've written a melody for it here, 
This uses techniques and ideas that I've discussed throughout. You can see that it has chords beyond standard minor and major, which I haven't covered in this video, but don't panic. The same rules apply. You just have a greater range of notes in the chord that can feel safe in your melody. Indeed, this is something songwriters do if they have an existing melody and want to match chords to it. Utilising different chord types can accommodate melody notes and make them feel safer. It uses note durations that aren't just a quarter note or one beat in duration, like you saw earlier. Always be aware that you can use any note durations that you like. Mix it up to create interest in your melodies. You can also do this to create syncopation. Syncopation is where you have notes that fall between the beats in a bar. Syncopated melodies have more movement and life and feature heavily in popular music, so make sure you try some of this in your own melodies. Follow along, listen to the melody, and then have a go at writing your own minor melody. You've learned how to write a melody, but you need to be able to write the rest of a minor key song. Watch the playlist on screen now to master minor key songwriting.